Good morning and welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I leave my campsite for day five of my Oregon adventure, headed back home to Washington. If you haven't checked out my previous three videos, definitely check those out. In this episode, I'll be heading back to my house, unpacking, repacking for two people, getting more food, and headed to the airport to pick up my buddy for another two days of camping, but this time in Washington. The last few days have been a lot of fun. I saw rain, mountains, clouds, rivers, and just some cool obstacles that I got to drive through on trails that headed out to random campsites. Lena had a lot of fun running around, but uh, now it's time to head back to Washington, get back into my own backyard. Hi, I'm Teco Rubio okay. from Juneau, Alaska. We are next to a really neat rock, a big one, in the middle of nowhere, Washington. Middle of nowhere? I don't think the people of Kashmir would appreciate you saying that. We're past county line. Oh, that's true. They don't matter. We're in the middle of nowhere. And we're, uh, we're headed out camping. We're going to start this journey. We just got onto some dirt roads and we've got a few, a few miles ahead of us, maybe a couple hours. And then I've got a campsite picked out. We'll see how it turns out. Hopefully it's good. Otherwise I've got some backups and we'll just see how it goes. Ooh. Lena's over there chasing butterflies. <laughs> just living a dog life. We'll catch you guys in a bit. Well, we're on the road. As you saw, I picked up my buddy Teco and uh, now we're making our way, continuing off into the wilderness. Hot dog. Nothing bad this time though, just the uh, the fairly nut kind of came loose. I should probably have like a lock washer or a nylock or something on the other side, but I don't. So I'm just gonna try and get it kind of tight. So this guy. All right, dude, let's hit the road. Leave this view behind. Driving on some of Teco's first dirt shelf roads, and uh, we've got more to come, so I'm excited to show them what's ahead. First time. Woo. Probably the most beautiful thing I've seen all year. <laughs> all year. <laughs> Coming from a dude who lives up in Alaska. I think that's saying something. Man, these clouds are nuts. Look at those. They're. I mean We're just at 5,700 feet right now, so nothing crazy, but we bought this at sea level and it's all super puffed out. So, I don't know, if we keep going and we start hearing some explosions. <laughs> yeah. Well, we made it to the campsite and I think it's gonna work out pretty well. It looks like somebody has kind of established it 
normally this amount of wood would be kind of worrying but there's so much deadfall around here that i think somebody just decided to chainsaw it up and kind of prop up some wood just for whoever's out here because we are deep in national forest so should be no problems with with camping but i think we're we're gonna scout out this little clearing over here um probably set up our big tent in there just to kind of help keep out of the wind because over on this side behind this tree kind of yonder is uh basically a, a sheer cliff looking out over this valley so pretty cool spot we'll uh we'll check it out all right so behind me is a clam deluxe gazebo and uh, this is the first time that you guys have seen it on my channel uh, if you've watched some of my videos, then you know that I have a Gazelle T4 tent, the orange tent, and that works great for camping. Um, for this trip with my friend, I thought we would try something new. So I've got this giant gazebo behind me. I'm going to get it set up, and then the plan is to use uh, cots inside, just two cots on either side. We'll have room to hang out. It also serves as a cool place to hang out if the weather's bad or if it's super buggy. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get it set up. and. Uh, see what he thinks of it because he hasn't seen it yet mission success <laughs> got a little little sap techno was collecting sap for our fire off of this tree and it got, it got a little out of control got in a fight with the sap let's check out the mega tent <laughs> Woo! so i think it's 12 and a half feet in diameter it's a pretty big tent and i've got my cot over here Teco's caught over here, plenty of room for activities, if you know what I mean. We got a fire pit, no burn ban, tons of firewood, so I think our plan is to put together a little fire, let it burn down, and then uh, we've got some steaks tonight. We'll get those on a griddle, get those cooked up. I think it'll be pretty good. Yeah, man. What do you think of our campsite for the most part today? Man, this is the best one I've ever camped at. No way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean the view it's flat it's dry the bugs went away they did go away I don't know shady it's, but also sunny it's great getting here yeah, it cool. the commute what did you think of the uh, the trails and the obstacles like you've never really done that sort of thing before right no it was kind of freaky not gonna lie <laughs> I think we're gonna continue with our evening set up maybe have some late lunch or something explore the area a little bit and uh, catch you guys later Dang, he's really interested. Hi, dear. Just about dinner time. Putting steaks on the fire. This is the first for me doing it this way. I bought a uh, a griddle. Camp's broken down. It's a beautiful morning. We had coffee, breakfast, relaxed, slowly broke down camp. And uh, now the, the Forerunner's all loaded up with all of our gear. And uh, I think we're gonna head out and continue to our next campsite. How was that campsite, Tycho? It's great. Best I've ever had, ever been at. It's a beautiful spot. We were all set to go, Zach. We were all Zach. set to jet. I got into the front seat, pushed the start button and uh, no key. So that's kind of one of the problems with push to start fobs and stuff is you gotta make sure you know where that is. It's easy to stick it into your pocket and forget. So now I'm bringing random shit into the front seat and the car will start if the, if the key is in it. 
It's a good tactic. All right. It was in now this I know bag. it's in this bag somewhere. So we'll hold on to that bad boy. <laughs> a little pro tip for you guys with uh, push to start fobs. Just move your shit into the front seat. <laughs> All right, dude. Sit the road. It's pretty cool seeing the wind turbines down there in the fields with the mountains in the background. Making our way into town, gonna resupply with a couple things and then hit the road again. On the road again. Tycho's driving, getting some rough road experience here, slowly chooching along at like five miles an hour. And beautiful painted hills of Eastern Washington, or at least slightly Eastern, Eastern Cascades area. And we're continuing south. You good? Where are we, Lena? Where are we? It's a beautiful place. It's Go to this. Okay. We're not staying here, but we found a pretty cool little campsite amongst these pines. Just checking it out. It's got a fire ring. Grass is a little tall. But it's a good spot nonetheless. We'll mark it on the map, keep moving, see what else we find. Doing our final ascent up this mountain to a ridge and hopefully we'll find a good spot to camp for the night and uh and that'll be the the last night of our little journey together here what do you think of the views Deco? oh man it's incredible there's a lake down there it's pretty crazy well it's been a few minutes we made it to the top of the cliff side and we found a nice campsite as much fun as it would be to camp out on the cliff edge, it does get really windy out there. So we found a spot that's tucked away over here, just a little bit into the woods. We set up our gazebo. We've got a little fire going, no burn bands or anything right now. And uh, yeah, we're just chilling out for the rest of the evening. I think it's a really cool spot. A little buggy, but we've got the gazebo and we've also got some uh, bug repellent, which seems to be working pretty well. And uh, I think we might even have a pretty good sunset. So. Looking forward to chilling out with my, my last night with uh, my good friend Teco here. And uh, tomorrow we'll pack up and kind of make our way back home and end the trip. So uh, I think we're going to chill and I'll catch you guys in the morning. Kind of looks like a mess in here, but it was a comfy, cozy setup.
we're all done with our trip we got done camping made it home and uh now i'm gonna drop teko off at the airport and he's gonna head back up to alaska so thanks for coming teko we'll see you guys in the next one